Hi, I'm Ron Bryant with your CTV News Brief, and today I'm with Carla with Stonewall Columbus, and we're going to be talking about the Columbus Pride Festival and Parade. Yes. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing great. This year is going to be a wonderful year, 2014. I know. Our 33rd annual Pride celebration, and we are very excited. Talk about it. June 20th and 21st, right here at Goodale Park. We're going to have a wonderful parade on Saturday, marching from Front and Broad down High Street. It's going to kick off at a 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we have a festival for two days with all kinds of entertainment. On Friday night, we're open from 4 to 11. We have Crystal Bauer Sox, who is a great talent, and we're so glad we could bring her. Alex Newell, I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but he is awesome, and he used to be great. on Glee. Great. So that's Friday night. Okay. And then Saturday, we have Beverly, Beverly McClellan yes. and Vicky Martinez okay. with a whole host of other local bands, people that have donated their time and energy to really put on a wonderful celebration for our city. Now, the Columbus Gay Pride Parade and Festival is the largest in the Midwest. What did it take to make it that large? You know, One of the best. It, you know, it started out a small grassroots organization, just started out as a little civil rights march with 100 people. And over time, I think that the city just embraced us, embraced the culture, wanted to celebrate uh, being who you are and being yourself. And so we've got a lot of folks that come out now that are allies and families of gay and lesbian folks. And they just come out and have a wonderful time celebrating the diversity of our rich, diverse city. Well, like you said, the diversity of the LGBT community. And the theme for this year is Pride Changes Lives. Why that theme? Well, you know, um, uh, this year's theme, that was last year's theme actually, Pride Changes Lives. Okay. This year it is Created Equal. Okay. Which um, that came from, of course, a lot of civil rights uh, 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 speeches, especially Martin Luther King talking about being created equal. And people use that term a lot. But what we wanted to draw attention to was the issues that are affecting the world, a global inequality that we see happening in the world. And so, not just here in Columbus in our little uh, microcosm of the macrocosm, we're talking about global inequality. And I think created equal says it uh, says it really best and so we wanted to draw attention to that Great. so we asked actually asked uh, George Takei to be our Grand Marshal this Mr. year. Mr. Star Trek himself. Yes and he's coming and Wonderful. we're so excited Good. and um, we're going to honor him at brunch on Sunday but he's going to be riding in the parade and be with us all weekend. You've got a 5k walk and run on the 21st? Yep we sure do. Talk about that. Yep, Are Friday you night. Uh, you know, I can never run in it oh, now that on. it's on Friday Carla. night. Okay, maybe I'll try Orla. this year. Um, I'm actually kind of busy, but I will be watching and cheering on the runners okay. and getting them uh, across the finish line with a big cheer. And the, uh, the festival is going to have wonderful entertainment. You talked about some of that. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that's going to be going on? You know what uh, is really uh, neat about the festival is this is a place for everyone to showcase not only their talent, but their organization and their support of our community as a whole. We've got a lot of churches that are going to be marching and they will have booths. Oh, okay, okay. We have a lot of businesses and ally businesses and corporations that are going to be there. We have all of our elected officials, city council will be here. I think people from the mayor's office, I'm not sure if he's actually going to actually be there I'm on sure Saturday, but he yeah. always does uh, celebrate with us and so you're going to see a lot of people from the city come out and be supportive and have a showcase for for what they do to make the city now great. that was the festival also for the parade as well parade as well there's going to be so many thousands of people lining the streets of columbus ohio i don't know if you've seen the banners on high we've put up but oh, there's up about 125 of them and there will be people lining up the, with uh three deep i think in the streets maybe 10 deep you never know uh just watching the parade and coming out to support everyone now just just talk a little bit about the LGBT community and the resource base. Sure. Uh, advertisers are flocking to you guys. Talk about that. You know, it's really interesting. A long time ago, you know, 33 years ago, we couldn't get people to come out and march with us. They were afraid to be seen with us, right? Well, it's kind of changed a little bit. And I think what's happening is our city uh, knows that to retain and keep talent in this city, we Quality need to be talent. open and yeah. smart. Correct. And we want, need to embrace everyone. And I so I think that a lot of the folks that are coming out from corporations and maybe from universities and from organizations are saying, you know what? We welcome you and we welcome you so being part of So it's broad-based and collective across the board. Yes, 
I think so. Someone wants to contact your organization or assist in some way, maybe even volunteer. Oh, How do they get in touch it. with you? We need it. We love our volunteers. I know you have a website too. Yep, columbuspride.org. Or you can call 614-299-7764. You can sign up online to volunteer and just everybody just come out and have a great day because it is really fun to be with your family and friends on a wonderful weekend. And a final word for all those viewing. Uh, just remember that it, it's great to have a wonderful, open, and diverse city, but it's the people that make it that way. So thank you, Columbus. Thank you, Carla. Appreciate it. Thank you.